I am the special guest. I'm the last person speaking today, so I'll, I'll kind of make it quick for all of you. Thanks for coming to the event. Ten years in the making. Oh, thank you. Life to the moon! All right. So, um, the last ten years that I've been speaking, actually I've been speaking since 2014 at this event. I've only missed one year. Um, and most of my talks have always been about how to you know, get good yield, trading strategies and whatnot. So uh, this year's a little bit different. So let me put this down. So um, as most of you know, I'm an early investor in Phantom. Well, we took over Tomb. And you know, what's life, right? So this topic, today I really, really wanted to focus and kind of lift the covers off of what life actually is. It's a project really, really dear to my heart. It's the first time in all of uh, crypto's history for me where I've literally designed and built the protocol from the ground up. So my background is actually software engineering, um, but I've had the fortunate um, opportunity to become a hedge fund manager. So I've seen what it's like to be on the investment side. I've also really kind of seen what it's like to be on the engineering side. So kind of really marrying the two and bringing the best of the worlds together. And that's kind of what we have is we have life. So today's topic is life. Explain. So what is life? Sorry, I, I had to do this. Like, you know, life is tomb and tomb is life. You know, before that really kind of started off as a meme because I was so tired of everybody asking me like what tomb actually was. So now I just tell people, same thing, read the docs. So the it's docs. kind of an inside joke if you understand tomb, because before tomb was actually a very, very complicated protocol. Um, so you had to read the docs. But let's talk a little bit about the history of life and why I built it. So, life was born <laughs> kind of at the beginning of the bear market of June 2022 of last year for, for a number of reasons. Now, we have been planning this for a while. Um, the, the first big reason is we all love the game of Tomb, we all love Phantom. When the Terra Luna thing happened, <laughs> a month after, we had to deal with like, I think about a 90% drop in the market. We were like, okay, T-share emissions is also ending. So that means a lot of the yield that was happening in the cemetery was going away. So we were like, okay, how do we continue to help incentivize, but also provide a great platform for people to kind of stay? Because the, now, I have to give props to the tomb community. If it wasn't for the tomb community and the tomb supporters, we wouldn't be here today. We would have just said like, okay, ciao, see you later. But it's really, really the tomb community. They gave me the strength and I was like, you know what, we have to continue this journey. So how do we continue to improve on Tomb? Because Tomb is the best game, but it's the degen game. And the degen game is only really, really good in a bull market. It's not really good in a bear market. So how do we build something that is good for both bull markets, bear markets, but can survive a long time? So I really, really thought this up that book. Initially we thought, build a protocol that will last about four years, but the reality is I want something to last about eight years, two cycles, because most mature technologies take about five to seven years. Most venture capital investments have a lifespan of about eight years. So this is why life was really, really designed, not as a short-term uh, solution, but kind of a long-term play. So the T-share emissions was ending, so we wanted to provide long-term sustainable yield farming and utility. It was an opportunity for me to launch a project maturing over an eight-year period. Opportunity to build something from scratch with a vision, with the best of everything I've seen in DeFi. So I'm marrying the best of everything that I've done in investing, trading, and building. So what is life? Well, there's many components to life, but there's really, really three tokens that are involved in the ecosystem. That's life, the actual utility token, L share, which is obviously used for like the game of life in the fountain, and then L3 USD, which I'll talk a little bit about, which is a variable collateralized stable token that we kind of created. It's not a true stable coin, but it's a, it's a stable that's designed for um, high yields. Uh, it's been very, very exciting to talk a little bit about, about, about a cross chain. You know, life has yield farming opportunities, it's got DeFi swap. We're launching a DeFi futures platform this, I think, uh, next month. It's in beta. Uh, we're launching a layer one permission blockchain. We'll talk a little bit more about that. 
the game of life, the fountain, and we have a mobile wallet because we want to ease the consumer use experience. DeFi is still very, very difficult to use, so what we wanted to do is create a great experience for people to be able to onboard into DeFi. So what is life? The three tokens, I'm going to talk about the three tokens today. Very, very important now. Some of this information hasn't been shared publicly. Um, the way I like to do things is, we did it kind of like backwards. A lot of people raise money in ICOs, build a bunch of money, um, and never built anything. For us, we kind of believe, well, as an entrepreneur that's built startups and companies, you can only lose your investors' money once. So what we wanted to do was, we bootstrapped this whole thing. Um, so let's talk about life first. What is it? It's the utility token of the life ecosystem. It's the emission token for uh, the fountain. We have validator rewards that are going to be used for staking. Did you get my the for DPoS, it's a VIP token from Felix.com, so it's very, very similar to BNB on Binance. Felix.com, if you don't know, it's a Binance cloud uh, that we set up a lot last year. And the utility token for LifeTrade, which is the future slot. This has never been seen before. This is the supply. Ooh. Go backwards. Sorry, I thought that was a laser pointer. Sorry. Where's the laser pointer? Jeez. Uh, so the life tokenomics, this is something we haven't released, and there's a very, very specific reason why, because we haven't raised a single dollar for this. We bootstrapped this ourselves, um, which means we wanted to bring a product out to market first and let people see what we've really, really built. So a lot of people have been like, okay, Harry, you know, why, why don't you release tokenomics? Well, we wanted to do it at the right time. So this conference we thought was a really, really, really good time to share. So. For liquidity and validators, most of these tokens are going to go to people that provide liquidity, uh, do validators, and rewards, the fountain of life. So I'm happy to say we've given away actually more money in the bear market with this project. And originally we planned only for four years, but we've extended it to eight years. So this is a, a very, very sustainable yield farming project. So 20% is going to be for the treasury. 4% for our partners, 13% we're, lo we're looking at for investment allocation, 8% uh, for developers, 12% uh, for the DAO. So token on right down. L share. So what is L share? So L share. So look, all of us love the tomb piece, but it's very, very unsustainable for, for a project to print 1% of its total supply every six hours, I mean. Don't get me wrong, it was uh, pretty amazing when it happened, but most of us had sleepless nights, like many of them. You could actually die from making too much money. I think that's why they call it too, you could like, stay awake for like days on end, so, uh, for the peg, so, but that's another story for later. So, what I thought would be really interesting, really neat was the component and mechanism of, of Tomb, which everybody loves so much, when the Terra Luna thing happened, we're like, okay, you know what, it'll print again in the bull market, in the next bull market. But why don't we create something in life that simulates that? So, you know, you get kind of like the same little dopamine hit, you know? It's not the tomb print, but it's very, very similar. So what happens is you, can, you, you still buy L share and you stake it in this thing called the Fountain of Life, which is equivalent to the Mace and when it hits a certain ratio, so for example, right now I think if uh, one tomb is equal to, what is it, uh, 2.5 two, two, two tomb is equal to one life. If you bought L share and you staked it in the of life, you know, there's an emission of like 300,000 life to, to all the participants. So it's a, it's a fun way to still get that engagement, um, but creating, creating something sustainable. So this is why you know, L share exists. And originally the scale was, we were only going to do four years, but as you can see here, um, the first year there's only going to be 28,000 L shares, so it's been about almost nine months now, and we committed about close to I think 20, 23,000 to run track. Second year, and we got this pretty much similar to like a Bitcoin habit box, so we can con this, we can continue to change, which is the nice thing about when we designed this, we made it so that the project is upgraded, and even two before. You couldn't upgrade it. You couldn't do something. Um, and and the, bi the biggest thing is no smart contract can really determine uh, market conditions right now. Uh, so that's still kind of where human interaction is kind of needed. So in this project, at least in the short term, you know, the, the team of us help manage you know, the supply. But longer term, gonna, we're going to a doubt model. 
and they'll be managing this. Um, so the year two, 14,000, year three, 7,000, year four, 7,000, so it's kind of a declining uh, logarithmic scale. So um, we project that the price of L share will increase because there's scarcity of supply. A T share of 70,000 was printed all in one year, so this is why that created an actual problem. So again, eight year plan for life. By that time, I think I'll be like, on the 60, not 60, but that is big close news. to it. Woo! And uh, L3 USD, so people are like, you know, why are you creating a stable fund? I'm like, well, we're not creating a stable coin, we're creating a stable asset. It's backed by, so, so the one thing that I learned from the whole Terra Luna uh, thing was that liquidity for real stable coins backed is, is the most critical thing. So as long as your stable is properly collateralized, you can, you can actually work with it. So for, for us, we've just kind of seen how everybody the, the beauty of the DeFi space is you can observe what other people are doing and then you can add your own twist to it. And what works for you, I, I think is the most important. Um, experimentation is very, very important. So what we're doing is like relatively new. So I created this new category called variable collateralized stable, which means it can be collateralized by multiple assets. For now, it's collateralized by curve pools down the road. It can be collateralized by Bitcoin, Ethereum, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so designed to be a range bound between 0.95 to 105. Designed to be a higher yielding stable, so which means, you know, anybody that's going to say, okay, you get earned 20, 30 percent on a stable, it's very Ponzi-ish. But if there's volatility introduced into a stable, then that's okay because there's a possibility. It, volatile assets give higher returns. This is a fact. This is a reality. Yeah. So sometimes the stables that you do with L3 used to can get you a yield of 25 to 30 percent. Sometimes they'll give you 8 percent. This yield depends on the price of life and L share. So like I said, designed for lending and borrowing and for LPs, and it's a pure DeFi play. But down the road, as, this, as the ecosystem matures, we're hoping to be able to do offline collateralized assets and lending and borrowing. Because what we saw in this bear market is a huge a downturn in liquidity. So imagine if you have your cars, your watches, everything else collateralized, you can use L3 USD and provide loan against that. So these are just some of the solutions we're actually looking at longer term. So more information on the L3 USD, these slides will be available later. So if you want to take a look. Yield farming, I'll kind of touch on this a little bit. Um, they're not as crazy as the two yields, but can everybody see that? So for some of the stables, depending on the price of L share and depending on how much is staked, you know, you can get anywhere from between two to 20%, life and phantom. This is just specific on the garden on phantom. There's multiple uh, gardens on different chains. So we just launched on BNB. We just launched on uh, Poly Polygon, <clears throat> but we show phantom. So right now, if you stake phantom, I think um, you can stake some of the phantom validating nodes. If you stake on here, could earn 14.25% just if you have a phantom that's kind of like in earned life. And this is the fountain of life. This is kind of like the fun, like degen game, at least until the bull market for tomb returns. <laughs> and um, if you're familiar with tomb, one of the things that was really, really complicated with tomb was how do you, um, what do you do with your tomb after you get it? So. We kind of created the we took the same strategy. It's called the 60/40, which is you a, a very very simple strategy. Now, there's multiple strategies, and we're going to make it easier for people to play this game. Which is okay when you earn life. There's and there's multiple ways to earn life. You can earn it in the nursery, the mountain of life, the validators. You take your life, you sell some of it, you get some phantom, forty percent um, of it, then you create an LP, you stake it, you earn L share, you repeat. So this is kind of like the game. How do you help the protocol and how does it continue to grow? It's very very similar to the policy support. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the components of like the life ecosystem. Uh, the, the main ones. There's actually a lot more than this, but for for uh, this presentation, I just wanted to kind of highlight the important ones. So one of the biggest things uh, that, that was important to me is like, I love Tomb as, as a protocol, but to give real utility to something uh, for me, I thought was like an interesting experiment. So one of the things I really wanted to experiment with was optimistic rollups uh, later too, but specifically on Phantom, just because nobody's actually done it before. And I love building everything on Phantom. So whenever we do something, we always try to do it on Phantom first, just because first, you know, it's, it's our home base. It's, it's what we love. We always build everything on Phantom first, um, even this layer two scaling solution. And the one thing I discovered, uh, 
why I wanted to build a layer two scaling solution was uh, there's this concept called the MEW and like every, everybody uh, knows about this, like the gas heights increase when there's just a huge amount of traffic on the network. So liquidations, all of the stuff, like when the Terra Luna thing happened, you couldn't use any network, Ethereum, Phantom, couldn't use it for days, it was just bogged down. So it was an interesting opportunity to say, okay, how do we, let's, let's experiment with like permission chains. So what's a permission chain? A permission chain means anybody can use it, but not everybody can deploy smart contracts on it. So it was a good opportunity for me to experiment with that. Um, talk a little bit more about Tune Chain after. And, uh, there's Life Trade, optimized DeFi applications running on cross chain, Life Wallet, the Life Chain um, L1 permission, and then in our future roadmap, just to talk a little bit about it. So as, as I've talked about with Tune Chain, for those of that, you that have used it, the nice thing about Tune Chain is that there's almost no traffic on it, and it gives utility to Tomb. So just over a period of time, the goal really, really is, Tomb Chain's designed for one thing, just for Tomb. That's really, 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 really what it was designed for. So longer term, it uses Tomb as gas, it's on the on, on Phantom. Uh, the game of Tomb, actually, life was actually born on Tomb Chain, uh, because we thought it would be a really, really interesting experiment to have our own swap and everything on Tomb Chain on yeah. Tomb Chain, so no, you could the, the, the permission trick, right? aspect was yeah. really the reason that we we uh, built Tomb Chain um, on top of Phantom. Just so that later, down the road, when we're ready to do the layer one, we have the experience required to Can actually roll it on that permission L1. Yeah. A lot of room for right so Life Chain, this is actually a very, very popular one that people have been asking us for, and we've been working on it for a few months. It's uh, DeFi Perpetuals on Phantom. So we're very, very excited. I think early next month, we're gonna be Yo, able to Mike. Demo and see. trade uh, DeFi Perpetuals oh, on Phantom. Yeah, like it's a GMX day. fork. This is the first preview of what it's going to look like. DJ! A lot of DJs in the crowd, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, DJs. <laughs> and then uh, life is cross chain. Um, Phantom's our home, Team okay. Chain. Yeah, but we're also going to be on BNB Chain, no. Polygon, Life Chain, and more to be announced. No. We think that uh, being a cross protocol is important. You know, it helps us get our chain link oracles. Uh, ultimately, it'll drive a lot more adoption. More adoption brings more people, more awareness to Phantom. That's really, really, like, really you know, our, our goal is. Yeah, yeah, yeah one we of the main it. guys on it, yeah. yeah. Life, so look, life.com, live on Opera. I believe the fountain is live this week. On Whoa, Phantom. big news. Yes. <laughs> alpha. It's Alpha, yes. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> uh, this one's uh, pretty important. Um, so last year, yeah. I was out at a, at a restaurant with one of my friends, and I was trying to explain to him how to buy life, and it was a very, very tedious process. There's only really two easy ways to buy life <laughs> right now. One is on Felix, because it's a Binance Cloud product. It's relatively easy to buy. Um, but you couldn't, the other, only other way to do it was through MetaMask and the experience was really, really bad. So what we decided was we took Alpha Wallet, but we're going to look at other wallets like, you know, Giddy, where's the Giddy guys? Right here. But, uh, you know, MPC custodial wallets, those are important for us. Self-custody wallet, um, you're going to be able to buy Life Phantom directly off of ramp on your phone. So it'll be a much better experience. So again, launching on Phantom first. You know, imagine a mobile app that's just specifically for Phantom and other chains, but very, very easy to use, but focus specifically, so you don't have to use MetaMask. Buy crypto directly with your credit card. Woo! So again, just really trying credit to bring up the best consumer experience <laughs> to crypto, making it easy Leverage. for people to kind of get on, on board. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, and the life chain. So life chain is really kind of, it's, for me, the same thing that we're doing with two, we're doing with life. Um, so life chain is important because uh, the whole concept of an L1 gives more utility to the token itself. Uh, there's 8.8 .8 billion tokens, so again, running validator nodes, you know, we, we run validator nodes for Phantom, so we know what it's like to be, to secure the network, so we're gonna look for more validators. Um, we're doing it originally, we're just going to fork EBMOS, but similar to BNB chain, as other software becomes available, hopefully in fact, one day we can fork Phantom. I'm just saying, just putting it out there. Um, we can build our permission layer one. It's going to be public use enabled, contract deployments by authorized developers only, deposit validator nodes. 
And we're look, really looking at building something like Layer 2 as a service on top. So. Oh, wow. That didn't turn out so well on this. Weird. Okay, anyways. Mike. Uh, looks kind of funny on here. I don't know why it didn't turn out. But that's a graphic of all the stuff that we're actually launching. So anything that's been oh, that's, highlighted that's a road has been launched, but yeah. anything that's white has not been. And I don't know what that is at the bottom, so I'm going to have to find out why. T-Bone! T-Bone, T-Bone coming. <laughs> so contact, look, if you want to follow me on Twitter, there it is. Uh, official life, uh, Twitter, no, Instagram, out, Mike. Discord. Mike. Yeah. Chantel does an awesome job. Chantel is doing exactly what I thought he Instagram would be with the L1. Uh, Discord, look, we want to build a community like we did with Tube, also on life, so please join the Discord. And then special mentions. I think it's very, very important to mention the people that have actually made, made this possible. Um, first, I'd like to help thank is like Phantom. Um, Phantom has actually provided, you know, developer ecosystem support, the sponsor of Quantum Miami. They continue to build the most innovative L1 blockchain. Um, plus, their team's just great. Hey, Simone is here. You know, Michael, Dave Richardson. Michael's a legend. Black Yes, Andre. Phantom Tom. So just really, really having like a great home to build everything on and knowing that you've got a great team. I mean, look, even the validator, validator support, you know, Quan and everything else, um, just the way they do the upgrades. And the, the, the community from Phantom has, the developer community, in my opinion, of Phantom is like the best. This is why we continue to build on Phantom, huge uh, support of Phantom. So thank you, Phantom. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Mike. Uh, Mike, 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 Mike. Rush is fucked, man. It's uh, a team effort. <laughs> Uh, you know, they execute the vision that, you know, we, we, we um, put together constant development improvements. Some of the guys aren't here. There's like 40 people all across the world that are working on this thing um, every single day, 24 hours a day. So they deserve um, a lot of the credit. And the Life in Tune community, I mean, you guys are the reason we're still here. Um, community moderators, a lot of them here, Tingus, we're Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All these guys, wigs. Thank you guys. Um, continue to build the innovative L1 blockchain life tune community. Thank you. Um, the Felix.com uh, market making team now. Felix.com is an interesting project. Uh, we originally started this really, really to kind of focus on Phantom. Just because we, want, we believe most of the best projects are going to come to Phantom. So we want to have... The, the, the reality is nice. DeFi is going to be very, very difficult to use for a while. Right? Centralized exchange experience is still the best. So our team is still oh, wrapping the, up. Yeah, yeah, the, um, so um, so I want to give a special team. thanks yeah. to the, 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 the Binance right? Cloud team. They've yeah, been yeah, super supportive. Exactly. Exactly. The market making team ago. and the marketing yeah. team. I had a bunch, dude. And remember, yeah. Life's, gonna, Life's used as a utility token on Felix. It's going to be changing over from Tunes. So this is kind of what it looks like. So we've had a pretty good run-up with Life on... Actually, yesterday, I think uh, half a million dollars in volume, so small numbers, but Mike, all big things doing, start man? small, so. Half a million in volume? Quantum Events Team, James L. Knight Center, Hyde Hotel, thank I'm being you. a phantom teacher. Um, the event production team, without them, you know, they, they put all of this together. Thank you. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Maddie! And I want to make special mention for... Um, some of our ambassadors and our friends that are really, really kind of newer to crypto, but I mean, they understand crypto, but they've really, really jumped in with both feet with us. First, I want to obviously, um, so where's Barak? He's here. Barak, where's he? Heidi? Where's Heidi? Okay, so anyways, Barak is, uh, I met Barak probably about, uh, I think, six months ago. Um, and music is such an important part of our lives, and I find like in crypto, my goal is always, how do you bridge crypto and mainstream, right? So music, art, you know, sports, it's something that we all resonate with, but we, we all, all of us that are into crypto, we want to see more of that. Um, how, how that part in, intersects with our life. And I think, yeah. you know, part of my goal is how do you bring the best people because they become the voice for, you know, things that we find that are important in crypto. So, um, Breck's actually a bit of an like, anomaly. Like, he's a freak as a DJ. I mean, this guy's insane. Um, you probably heard a song uh, Tuesday. Um, uh, Forever Young, Habibi Come to Dubai. Um, but what's crazier is he said, he said to me, hey, Harry, I want to go to space. I'm like, what do you mean? Earth's like, 
It's perfect reminding this. Once I had a space concert um, for an hour up in a space capsule. I'm like, okay, sure. Uh, you're crazy, but most people crypto are. So, um, as you kind of saw, he was on earlier. He's going to spend uh, an hour in space. You definitely heard some of the songs. So, having somebody like him. Uh, I'm very, very happy to have this brand with you, but really just kind of seeing what he's doing, that's kind of trailblazing. But you have to see him play because I DJ, but then when you watch him DJ, this guy turns off all visuals. He's a true musician. He does it all by ear and can play electric guitar and, and uh, DJ at the same time. It's pretty crazy. And of course, one of my closest friends, Alec Monopoly. Um, he's not here this year. He's, he's in uh, Dubai. Um, painted that awesome mural last year. Um, if you take a look at the one on the right, you can actually see how big this is. This is actually Alec right here in the little corner. <laughs> That's him. That's pretty so cool. So Alec's a huge uh, supporter of uh, crypto as well. I did not realize Loves it was like three meters tall. So again, having guys that are mainstream, really, really hot. And look, one of the amazing things about Alec is he was just a graffiti artist before and now he's like one of the big breakout DJs. You can see him everywhere, so yeah, that's what you great to have him. Oh, in case you didn't see, there's a little tomb logo and phantom. I got him to paint this. If you go to the Dubai Mall, I got him to paint the phantom oh, logo the mall. and the tomb logo at the very, very end. You see? So if you go to Dubai Woo! Mall, you'll actually see that. Yeah. And then, of course, Pierre Gassi didn't need an introduction. He's been here. This is, uh, you see the phantom logo and the life logo? And Pierre, you know, was very, very uh, vested in crypto as well, so great to have him. And lastly, World Champion, 2021 MotoGP World Champion, Fabio Cotororo. Couldn't join us today, but you know, Fabio is also newer to crypto, so he's bringing, again, similar to Pierre, he's bringing the eyeballs uh, for people to be a lot more aware of crypto. And then, thank you all of you for coming to Quantum Miami. Yeah! Thanks, thanks, thanks.